This is the Philips um, Wake Up Alarm Light, uh, model number HF3520. And I want to go over some of the features and um, setup and stuff like that. So uh, this is what it looks like in its resting state. It has a displayable clock. It has uh, four touch buttons uh, right below that, which you can't see very well, but if you approach them with your hands, they light up. And then um, you can select them. So over here is a minus button. Over here is the plus button. Menu, and then select. So let's go to menu. Um, the first thing that um, pops up when you hit the menu button is alarm number one. And that's the one that's uh, flashing right there. And uh, let's see, in order to set this, you hit select and then you can adjust with the uh, plus or minus buttons um, what time you want it to um, go off. And then this selects the intensity level. Um, 20, the light intensity level, 20 is the highest, and it'll go down, so how bright do you want it to be in the morning? Um, <clears throat> and then this selects uh, whether you want audio <clears throat> uh, with that as well. Um, you can either have it um, use FM radio, which is built in um, to the device, or uh, several pre-selected natural um, or bird type sounds. So that's that one. To continue along, um, the plus minus also, or the plus button also doubles as a next button. So uh, this is the second alarm. Um, so if I hit select, I could adjust that one. Although I don't use the second alarm, at least not yet. Um, now when you're setting these um, in menu, uh, you don't turn the alarms on or off in menu. You only set the times and the settings. The on and off buttons are hard buttons on the side, which I'll get to later. Next is a speaker icon. And then uh, here it displays a little bird chirp. Um, so, and if you select that, um, there's uh, two options. Uh, you can either set it to FM radio, which is the top icon, or to these uh, bird songs. And then, um, you can preview them. I forget how many there are. There's five. And you don't have to have audio um, on at all with the alarms. Uh, moving on, uh, this is the clock, uh, which you can use 12 hour time or 24 hour time, uh, whichever you prefer. This is the contrast level, um, the highest, and for this display, the highest is a four. Oops. If I wanted to adjust that. Say maybe it's too bright at night or something like that. I could adjust it that way. I'll keep it at four for demonstration purposes. Uh, so that's it for the menu. Uh, now let's go to the hard buttons. Okay, the first button here is alarm button number one. And um, that's in contrast to alarm button number two here. So those are both at, um, I don't know, 11 o'clock and two o'clock. So, when you push this alarm button, um, so it pops up the alarm icon. Oops. Okay, now it comes up. And it also gives you the opportunity um, to change the time of the alarm right then and there. But if you don't want to change anything, you'll just leave it be. And uh, now the alarm icon shows. <clears throat> and so that alarm is active. Um, if you do it to alarm number two, same thing. The alarm icon will show, it'll blink, uh, letting you adjust the uh, alarm setting if you want. <clears throat> um, but if not, you just leave it be and then it um, shows the icon. Now both alarms are active. To take one off, 
uh, you just hit the button again and it removes it. Moving on, there are, uh, so this is the lamp button, so when you hit this, the light will turn on and slowly come to uh, whatever brightness you set. Hit it again and it'll fade out. And you can adjust the brightness um, with these here. So less brightness, more brightness. So if I only wanted it to uh, be really dim, maybe I'm sleeping or something like that, let's take menu off. I can set it to be, you know, just kind of a glow. And these moving lines here, that's not real. Um, that's just an artifact of the refresh rate. It's actually just a solid glowing um, light. Okay. Keep hitting menu by accident. Next, there's three buttons here. The middle one is an FM. So that uh, turns on the radio. Turn the light off. And then the two buttons on the side of it will adjust volume. Hitting FM again will turn it off. And you can tune it using the plus minus buttons. And that plays out of a speaker in the back here and it also has a, a fairly lengthy antennae, antenna if you want to um, put that up somewhere. Okay, the last button is right here, and it's uh, the icon that's right there is a face with a um, with some Z's, meaning go to sleep. And what happens with that one is when you hit that, it activates sleep mode. This is asking you how long you want sleep mode to be. Um, <clears throat> I have it set for 20 minutes. It can be more than that. It can also be less than that. So the bright the initial brightness is uh, adjustable. It will uh, display the lamp and then over 20 minutes or whatever time you set, uh, it will decrease um, the light intensity until it finally turns off. Basically it's a sundowning feature or a take me to sleep feature. So that's it. I hope that was helpful. Um, it's a pretty slick looking device. Uh, it's very smooth. The uh, light is very pleasing. It's a very kind of a soft glow, uh, which is really nice. Um, it's not harsh at all. It's plenty bright. If you want to use it as a nightlight, it, it turns really low and it has a very warm quality on the low uh, settings and a more bright uh, white um, at the high settings. One improvement I wish it had is I wish you could act or, uh, interact with it via Bluetooth, maybe with an app. Um, so you could use it as a Bluetooth speaker or something like that or adjust the settings with your phone. But uh, that's not current yet. Currently it's just super simple um, and a very, uh, again, sleek, uh, good-looking device. So there you go, and I hope this was helpful.